In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your very own custom glitches overlays right inside of After Effects. You'll need the Signal plugin as well as the Sapphire plugins, but if you want to cut to the chase and skip all of that, you can check out the first link in the description down below where you'll find my analog glitches pack, which comes preloaded with over 30 overlays that are really going to set you apart from any other video editors. But for now, let me show you how I created this pack and how you too can do it. The first thing you want to do is create a new comp on which we're going to add a solid and add the sapphire texture neurons effect. Now, I know this doesn't look like much right now, but we're going to transform this into a glitch overlay. So change the frequency to 1.3, this setting to 0.02, and then the arms to around 15, the softness to 0.3, and the thickness to 0.17. We can now change the twist value to around 4 and the smooth to around 8. These are values we're going to play around with later, uh, but just use the following for the glow width also. So as you can see, 0 0.010, 7, 2.5, and 0 0.010. And as you can see, this does not look like much right now because we need to keyframe the shift axis. And as you can see now, it comes to life. I usually like to add a keyframe to the first frame and then go 10 seconds later and move the axis all the way down that way we get a quick animation of the entire seed and right away as you can see we already have some sort of a glitch overlay but it's looking a little too clean so we're going to play around with the values i like to lower down the frequency and next up we're going to add a adjustment layer on which we're going to add a noise effect set to 32. i like to use the color values but now we can create another adjustment layer and add the signal plugin which is really going to give us that analog touch Make sure to disable the tape arrows effect and now we can play around with the values. I like to start off with the signal amplification which is going to give us a lot of that analog color. Then we can play around with the various noise to really mix things up a bit. There really is no right or wrong values for this part. Just play around until you find something you like. Uh, but now we can go back to the solid, play around with the frequency settings. And as you can see, we're already getting some super unique results. I like to play around with both frequency settings until I find something I like, uh, but also try decreasing the arms amount or playing around with the smooth and thickness settings, which is really going to transform the overall look of your glitch overlay. I use this exact technique to build out this custom analog glitch overlay pack. And as you can see, all overlays are super unique and the variety was achieved just by playing around with the values inside the texture neurons effect. Once again, if you want to skip all of that work, make sure to check the first link in the description down below where you'll find this overlay pack as well as all my other tools and assets. But that'll be pretty much it for today, guys. I hope hope y'all enjoyed make sure to also let me know which tutorials you want to see next and on that i'll see y'all in the next one peace